Hey guys, Pretty Kitty Gaming here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I played through that small section again that didn't get saved in the last game. Um, and we're back to writing our poem. So, I think last time I... If I remember correctly for the poem stuff, I think Natsuki had more. And then I agree with Natsuki in the last episode. Um, so I'm going to try and write this poem. I'm not going to make it too Natsuki-esque. But I'm going to make it to where it's more Natsuki. I'm going to try. Okay. But all of these words don't sound cute. Let me nightgown. Yeah. Okay. Kitty. Okay. Okay. Misfortune. What? Incapable. Horror. Sing. Okay. Uh, they're all even now. Rose. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, Pleasure. Oh, stop. Candy. There we go. Uh, joy. Oh, no. Stop. It's pink. Fluffy. Sugar. Agonizing. Bouncy. Uh, alone. Uncanny. Sh shame. Uh, cute. I've, I've already lost count as to who's got what. Anime. I know she has more though. That's that's the main point. That's the main point that she has more. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Bailey. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty type of thing. Pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Uh, th that's not lucky at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all of your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. Ugh. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Huh? 
I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. I wasn't listening to anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Bailey to let me borrow some money. That's don't don't get me involved in that, Yuri. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I, I got too absorbed into my book. <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yari. It doesn't happen much, but it's, it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside of us. Inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. B but you wouldn't have come if I if it weren't for the cupcakes. I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me a more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> but she she got hit. Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Huh? Uh, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? Cookies falling from the sky! Whoa! Because I paid my retribu re restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna, I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It's totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Not so key so nice of you. I'm in Monica's voice now. So nice of you. I'm so happy. See where he hugs the cookie. Won't that crumble it? Jeez, just eat it. See where he rapidly tears open the wrap wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <sighs> Sayori suddenly clasped her hand over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going to. Th You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is. But yours is chocolate! Yeah. What do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sora gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah! Jeez! I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um! 
Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's t cookie. <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mm-hmm. Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori- Nah? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Oh yeah, well, Monica hasn't come into any of this. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh, where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. I'm not sure if she has a cookie in her mouth or not, so. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Huh? Y you don't think she... She has a... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She probably... She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. S sorry I'm super sorry. Sorry, I I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I, I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Huh? Mon Monica chooses the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just left lost track of time. Ah. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music at all. As I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. Fun fact, I learned piano somewhat. My hand's really close to the camera. Um, I learned piano some. Not very much, but I learned some. Um, how old was I? I don't remember how old I was. Maybe around 10 or so? I'm not sure. But, um, it was really cool. And I, my mom said that I picked it up, like, really fast. But, you know. Um, my sister and I, um, Savannah, she and I, we're really good at, like, playing different instruments. We can pick up on a, on a, I can pick up on instruments pretty fast. She is definitely more of a rhythms person. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, I, I, we both ended up learning piano at the same time, and then our piano teacher moved away, and we haven't picked it up since, so. Fun fact. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... that's, uh... Monica looks at me. M maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Bailey. Stop! 
Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I, I, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been, I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escap es escapade? Escapade? Not sure. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. It's not long before Natsuki, Na Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. I pull the first volume of Harfei Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands, then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted- I, I just want it. Mm. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well. Anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So, you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Ah, the chapter ended with Minori and Alice found. Monica! Natsuki, Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Huh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? <sighs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet, so I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. Top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop, trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez. This is so inconvenient. I'm moving all these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why did you waste that on the top shelf? <sighs> Not so key. There's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? I mean... I knew it! Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Ah! 
Careful. I know what I'm doing. Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. Still would have been enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Ugh. Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Ugh. Losing her balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. There! Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez. No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it! I don't want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki, Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desks attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over- oh boy. Over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. Ha! Ah, that's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Oosh. Natsuki climbs onto the chair and slowly balances onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. That's- that's an angle. Aha! There we go! See? I can easily do it now! Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. Whoa! The chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, yeah. I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. I can... I can almost see up her skirt. Yeah. I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes, I'll be dead. Ugh. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box, easily the largest one on the shelf. Ugh. Heavy. Huh? Hey, Bailey. I, I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Huh? Then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. Alright. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Where are all the way back? Huh? Natsuki looks like she just realized something. But she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box? <laughs> what are you looking at? You're trying to look at my- 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 Natsuki's legs shake. I I'm not! I was just- Natsuki, don't try to move. Just give me the box. You- you perv! You set me up! Go away! Get out! But, but I'll do it myself. Ugh. Chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki, yeah. The scene turns into chaos in a split second. Chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands. The books go flying. I got you. Crash. 
The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight onto my chest. Ugh. My right arm and back seriously felt the impact. Ugh. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. Ugh. She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up. Ow, that would hurt. Huh? Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Gah! Gross, gross! Gah! A, f a fist pounds into my chest. Oh, that would hurt even more! Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. Wh what were you thinking? You sicko! Everything okay over here? I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica! See what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez! S -s sorry sorry <laughs> Oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So, I hope you're happy. I didn't! Somehow it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know, don't worry. How do you know you weren't there? Monica says that quietly to me. Why are you saying it just me? Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no! My, my... Uh, huh? I look down. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Uh, it must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Oh. Natsuki, are, are you? No! <laughs> Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Ah. I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just... having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It, it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head just every day. It's so hard. I just want to come to the club and Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to. Alright. Well, I'll help clean this up and I'll move the rest of your manga for you. No. I pick up volume two of the Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Huh? Sounds really strange, coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? <laughs> Natsuki lowers her head and sniffles another sob- and stiffles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I can do. The next couple minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. 
I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. Alright. That should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Th thanks. Huh? It's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume one set aside in her head. Alright. I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyways. You're taking a responsibility for what you've said. Think about cheering me up. If you insist. Alright. And we're gonna save it here and we're gonna leave it there. So, if you're enjoying Doki Doki Literature Club, hit the like button let me know. I'm really enjoying this game. It's like I don't, I don't know what to think of it. Because like, I, I like anime, but I also like... I've never played an anime game before. Uh, my extent, I think... Or not extent, but... The, when I was a kid, the biggest anime thing that I liked was the Winx Club. That was my thing. I loved it. Couldn't wait for next step for new episodes and all that. Um, and I don't know. Just being on here, it's 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 a little weird. Like I'm I'm getting like flashbacks from like what ended up happening in the Winx Club. Um, and like it actually came up on. Um, Netflix the other day, and I was like, oh, but why not? For old times, I went in and, like, watched a few, and they changed some of the characters' names and all that, and I was like, but that's not her name! That's not it! And I was very upset, but... <laughs> but, um... I don't know what to think of this game. It's, uh, it's really fun so far. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about Monica. I think I'm like a Natsuki. Like, like I already like decided basically at the beginning of this episode that I was gonna go with Natsuki, but I'm saying at the end of this episode, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with Natsuki for the rest of the game. I'm gonna try and impress her, get her to like me, and all that. So, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. If you like Doki Doki Literature Club, hit the like button. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um. We didn't read anybody's poems today, so you can't talk about them, but talk about anything you want. It's fine. And if you're new to the litter, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to become a part of the litter. Love you all. Bye! That's a pretty, 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 p